everyone and uh, welcome to Hellfest. Uh, we are here at the Guitar Tech Center, the Ernie Ball, and we have the great pleasure and the honor to receive here Mr. Roger from the Ben Less Than Jake. Oh, it's my honor to be in the re repair booth for Ernie Ball at Hellfest. This is awesome. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you for Love being it. here. So how's the tour doing so far? I gotta say, it's been one of the best runs that we've had here in a long time. It's our first full European tour since before the pandemic and just the response has been awesome. The festival crowds have been huge. We played a lot of uh, like small club shows in between the dates and like a lot of energy and everyone's feeling great. Can't complain. One of my favorite Europe tours ever. Cool, and I think it is the first time you're coming at Hellfest, yes. right? In yeah, Clisson. Yeah. I think so. Have you yeah. ever heard of, of the festival before? I've heard the name before. I've obviously known you know the history a little bit, but I uh, never thought we would get to play something like this, so it's pretty cool. Crowd looks like I understand them, you know what I'm saying? These are my people. It is. <laughs> and you play the same stage with like Rancid tonight, so yes, it's gonna yeah. be. Yeah, we've been crisscrossing all over Europe. Well, I've played a couple shows with Rancid and uh, some of the other, Flogging Molly as well, that's on our stage tonight. Super cool. It's very excited to see Def Leppard, one of my favorite bands growing up. And uh, it's awesome to be here, man, yeah. And we know that you've been with uh, Ernie Ball and Music Man for a very long time. Like a back in the 90s. Time. It's hard to remember the time before I played at Ernie Ball, man. It was like, I think it was a uh, Warp Tour, uh, 97 or no, 98 Warp Tour. Um, there was something a lot like this on the Warp Tour. There's an Ernie Ball stand where people could come in and play some guitars and play some basses and check it out. You know, just people at the show. And um, I sort of became friends with those guys, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll try to play one of those basses, you know, on stage, because my bass is like not so good. And I, I never gave it back, man. I just never gave that bass back, and I've been lucky to be part of the family, and uh, not only the instruments, but the strings that we all use for years and years, and it's just uh, very lucky, very lucky that I play an amazing instrument. I love my I love my bass right now. My current bass is my favorite bass I've ever had. It's great. And it's a bit special compared to the Stingray. It's a Sterling, right? Yeah, I'm playing Sterling, so it's a little bit a little bit smaller. I'm more I am kind of a guitar player. I play a lot of guitar also, and it kind of translates to my hands a little bit. And the style of the band is kind of like quick bass lines and cruising around quick. So having a smaller smaller fretboard and everything is totally my vibe. And what is your uh, gauge tension and string tension? Yeah, Super Slinkies, pink, the pink ones, that's all I've used forever. For all of time. 145 to 100. 100. Yeah, yeah. Super Slinky Pinks, that's my jam. Cool, and how often do you change your strings? Like every show, every two shows? Uh, It kind of depends, you know, it's kind of weird. Sometimes when you let the strings be really dead, it has a certain warmth to it that I kind of like. And depending on the, the club or something, how the room sounds, sometimes that can be pretty badass when they're dead. But um, usually I like some brighter strings for most outside shows and stuff. So um, I try to, I can play many shows on one set of strings. I'm fine with it, but it kind of depends on what the room sounds like, you know? So usually like I think two or three shows and then maybe if I sweat a lot on them and they sound a little bit more dead and then the next room is like a room that needs the brightness, then you know, you change them and I'm lucky to be able to do that. You know, it's awesome. Yeah, cool. I know that you have a pretty busy schedule. Uh, thank you again for being here. Do you have some news coming with Les and Jake or a new album or something? We had a lot going on, man. We we're celebrating the 25th year of our album, Hello Rock View, this year. So we're doing, uh, not only over here, but in the States, all over, we're doing album shows and have all kinds of merch and releases and things going along with the celebration of that. And you know, 31 years into the band, man, we still have plenty of songs that we're working on, planning on recording later this year. and. Doing more tours and writing more songs. That's, that's what we're planning on. <laughs>